G'day guys, welcome back. Oh look, I've got a huge project today. Today I'm going to do a freeform vase. I want it to look like stained glass, so I'm gonna use alcohol inks. And I'm using, this is my instant mold. This is, this is a 70 centimeter one, this one. Um, I have got it stuck down just on a piece of plastic just a thin plastic. Um, if you've bought one of my molds, you'll know that they come in a plastic bag. It's just one of those plastic bags and I've cut it, um, cut the bottom off it and opened it up so it's like that. I, I don't mind if there's like a little couple of creases in it because it's gonna have all these folds in it anyway and you're not gonna notice it. But I wanted something really thin today to work on. So that's why I've gone with the plastic bag uh, rather than what I used for my previous uh, black and silver one gonna just kind of release it let it fall down and make its own sort of shape um, make sure that it's clean if you've got one of these make sure it's clean on the bottom um, if you've got dust and stuff underneath obviously you're not going to get a good seal so make sure it's nice and clean so I wanted to tell you about this first before I go and make up my resin because I'm gonna make up a lot today a whole kilogram so what I'm planning on doing is I've got these three alcohol inks we've got midnight blue and I may add a bit of black to it because I want I want like a really dark center or bottom of the vase. And then coming up from the vase, I want like streaks of blue and turquoise. So I've got sapphire blue and cerulean and that's gonna like work out like that. Um, and then when I mold it in about six hours, I have lots of folds. I'm not gonna be too precious about how they're folded. I just want it to look really organic. Um, and hopefully tall and thin. I'm gonna see if I can get it thinner at the base and then open, but I don't know, we'll see what happens. Right, <laughs> I've got it on a piece of board and I've got some cans because the um, corners are kind of warped. So I've just got cans on the corner there to hold everything down. Um, so yeah, oh, I'm gonna use the Platinum Ultra Clear because it's got a really long work time and I don't want this going hot too hot and melting the plastic. I'm not gonna pour it very deep. I'm only gonna pour it probably maybe three millimeters or so. So that's what I'm gonna, do, gonna go and do. I'm gonna go and mix up my resin now. And then when I get back, we'll be ready to pour. Right, I'm back. Let's climb down my ladder. I've sacrificed one of my kitchen containers. <laughs> Because last time when I did it, I made up three batches of resin in, in big cups. Um, and then this time I thought, nah, I'll just use a bowl. I'm sure I'll be able to clean it. It's just a container. Right, so um, I don't want as much black as the other colours. So I'm probably going to do these in batches. I'm just going to do half a cup for the really navy blue or the black depending on how it goes and then the blue and the turquoise oh maybe I don't have to do it in batches didn't think I'd have enough room oh well there you go these are big cups I think they hold oh about one and a half cups each I think they hold 750 mils each these big cups. There we go. Let's see if we can get it all out. All right. I'll come back to that shortly and, and give it a good clean before it sets up. Okay. So here we go. So be careful I don't tear my plastic. Obvious, for obvious reasons. I want to tear your plastic. It's only thin. I actually did want to use um, a cellophane, on, like on a big roll, because it's slightly thicker. And um, it's doesn't have any creases on it because it's on a roll but of course it's it's packed let's get those bubbles be careful not to torch your plastic all right be really careful of that all right this is the midnight blue let's see how that's going to go see how dark that is start with five drops let's see how that goes <laughs> it's not very dark is it that's okay it's a pretty colour though. It's 
really pretty. May even use that for um, the other one. Um, let's all right. Let's have a look and see what the sapphire does. I may add some of the other one to this. That's the sapphire. See, it's a much brighter blue. Let's see how that one goes. But I do want these to still be really transparent. I, I don't want them to be opaque at all. See the difference in colour there? I actually think I prefer the other one. All right, let's move you out of the way, sapphire blue. So I'm going to add some of the midnight blue to this. Five drops to there. And then I'm going to add, this is black. We'll just go... Start with three and see how that looks. And then this is going to be the cerulean, the teal. We'll do ten. Because that one's got ten. It's got ten sapphire and ten midnight. So I may just sort of mix my colours depending on what kind of look I want. I may put a bit more blue in this one. Now, it looks very dark in the cup, doesn't it? So it's, it's quite deceiving. So you're going to, if you do this, you're going to have to just test it um, on a piece of paper towel or something because what you see in this cup now at this depth is not what it's going to look like when you, when, once you pour it out. All right. It's looking nice and dark, but look at it on the stick. <laughs> this might take me a little while to get my colours right, you guys. Uh, let's just have a little look and see what they're looking like. I'll put them on this piece of paper towel here so that we can see. So this is the midnight blue. Look at that. And this is the other one. And the other one. <laughs> I'm making a mess. So you can see that they look much different when they're in the cups. So I'm going to add more colour. So just go slowly, add your colour slowly. Um, I'll add some more midnight. One, two, three, four, five. And a bit more black. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to see what it looks like if I just add a couple of the midnight to the cerulean and then another five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now that we've got 15 drops of colour. Well, that's looking pretty. Look at that. It's just taken the green tinge off and made it a little bit more blue, which is what I wanted. And then this one... That sapphire blue I felt was throwing a bit of purple, which I didn't like. Sometimes blues do that. They, high, they either have a purple hue or they have a green hue. Make sure you stir them up really, really well because you don't want streaks. I hope you can hear me. You're a long way away. Hello. <laughs> You're way up there on the tripod on my island bench. And you're far away too. All right, let's have another little look at the colours. Mm, I think I'd like them a little darker. One, two, three more black. One, two, three, four, five in the blue. And you can have another two. And another one, two, three, four, five. All right, I think that'll do. Let's just put these away. I think that I think that will do now. I should just get a rig along with it. Hey, sorry for taking up your time, but some people like to see, you know, how it's done. How you get deeper colours. You can, of course, have pale colours. But I just wanted it to be a little bit darker. I still want to be able to see through it. But I just wanted it to have a slightly darker hue. 
hopefully I'll be happy with it. If I'm not, hey, it's only resin. <laughs> Expensive by the, anyway, but it's only resin, you can do it again. Now, hopefully I haven't made up too much for my centre. Now, do I do the centre first or do I do my colours first is the question. I'm just going to move these out of the way for now. And hopefully I don't knock anything over. Let's give the tops a quick little torch. All right. Now, when I mould this, oops, I don't know what that is. When I mould this, um, I want the... I want it to be off center, like I want the back to be higher than the front. So, I'm just not sure whether I should try and keep the black a little bit lower because that's going to be the, the back. So, I might sort of try and put it a little bit off center. We'll see. See what happens. I think it's just going to do what it wants to do, basically. Anyway, I'll just put a little bit down for now and let's move on to one of the other colors, shall we? I like that. That's pretty. So basically I'm just going to do this and let's hope my instant mould holds. <laughs> I have confidence in it. Don't want to put too much colour on. How's that? So that's my blue down. Oh, look, I haven't stirred it very well there. Okay, don't scrape your cup. Because <laughs> there's ink, ink left on the bottom. Just have a crease there. It won't matter. Yeah, don't scrape your cup. All right, let's go with the teal. Yeah, that's, see the, now you can see the crease <laughs> where, um, where my plastic bag was folded over. So I kind of just want to follow this sort of shape, but you know, you can do whatever you like with yours. I hope I've got enough resin. I didn't want too much. I wanted to keep it quite thin. You know, and I don't want it too thick. Whoa. Okay. Easy enough to make up a little bit more resin though. This one's all right, it's not, um, it's not having streaks in it. All right, let me just stand back and have a little look at that. I will put some more of this in, in the center. Give that a bit of a stir so I can actually use this last little bit. I've got a bit of a bump there on my plastic. It's going to take a bit of bit of working just to get everything smooth, but I think it'll be fine. See, lad, you just have to pull on your plastic a little bit. It's going right up to the edge of that instant mould there, and it's holding. I've got some tape here. I might just loosen that, and then pull that, and then stick the tape back down again. Same here. Just loosen that tape. I don't know if you can see it, but tape on the edges. Just pull that tight, stick the tape back down. So it's always good to have your plastic on a board. That way you can pull your plastic nice and tight if you need to. Okay. Now um, I am going to just going to kind of get the resin to the edges. So this is going to take me a little while, but I, I don't want to put any more resin into this if I can help it. I'll see how deep it is, but I just want to push everything to the edges first. Oops, I've got some colour stuck to the plastic, a bit of ink stuck to the plastic. Right, I'm going to put you on pause while I just push all this to the edge you don't need to see that. There's a bit of ink stuck to my plastic. Just be careful not to tear my plastic. All right, so I'm going to just do that um, and then I will come back to you, all right? So, 
be right back. Let me get my gloves off. Don't worry about those crinkles. We won't even notice them. Righto. So I've spread everything to the edges and I put a little flat end stick in the bottom there just to see how deep it was. And it's not quite as deep as I think it should be. So I've made up a tiny little bit more. I've made up some dark blue and I made up a little bit more black. I've tried to make it a bit darker. So I really want a dark centre. So we'll see. I'll put all that in. So I just made up, I made up another cup. So now we've got five cups in total. Just kind of spread that a little bit. And then that'll be my, my base, hopefully. Okay. Now, I don't know if I should spread it or just leave it. This other darker blacky blue, it's really spread a lot. I didn't really want it to spread that much. Actually, I'll just keep this in a circle. I think I'd prefer that to be in like a, a circle kind of a, a shape. They never work out to be exactly how you had envisaged them, do have they? <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. Resin does what resin wants to do. All right, so that's going to be my my middle. I may spread it out a little bit more, we'll see. So I've got some more dark blue here. And I've made it a little bit darker than that blue. And I'm just going to kind of introduce a little bit of other colour. And I want to take over all my teal, so I've got to be careful about that. see how that goes. I know it probably looks a bit of a dog's breakfast at the moment, but oh, I forgot to go over here. Oh, gosh. Um, but I think once all the resin moves and blends, and I'll give it a bit of a helping hand. Obviously, I'm not going to use a heat gun on it because it will just melt my plastic. So I'm not going to do that. Um, let me just get my cup set together. All right, now I'm just going to very, very gently just do a little bit of blending just kind of make it look a little bit more natural, al natural. Like so, just blend all those colours together. Hopefully it'll look pretty once it's all folded and moulded, folded and moulded. You can see now how that blue's got more of a purple tone to it. Don't know why. I'll just bring that in a little bit into the center. Just gonna do this all the way around, blending my colors a little bit. Because this is on a, a thin board, I think it's kind of sagging a little bit in the middle as well. But once I get into my studio and I can work like on a on my table, I'll, it'll be better. It's just I'm working on my island bench, so I've got plastic down and puppy pedal pads down, and you know, I'm trying to be careful not to get <laughs> resin all over the place. So once I'm back in my studio. Um, I can have another go at this and see if I can improve but for now I'm just gonna to have to do the best I can but I do think it's kind of sagging in the middle a bit now so I'm gonna spread this black just a bit like so I know I said I wanted to keep it in a circle but now I don't <laughs> change my mind all right there we go now I'm just gonna be careful I don't use this stick on up there because I don't want to have the black going out there. So 
I think I'll just leave that. You know me, I'll keep fiddling for a bit, but because of there's bubbles and things, I'm just gonna use my little 100% alcohol in the demister here and just go over it because we're not using any heat. And not, otherwise, it'll just burn the plastic. Can you imagine what would happen if I burnt my plastic? In there so yeah just um, especially with a really thin plastic like this be careful with it don't poke things into it because you could tear it and then you know you'll have resin running everywhere so all right that's it <laughs> all right um, I think I'm just I will have another little play just to you know blend a little bit more um, to my liking but basically that's that's going to be it so I will come back to you probably in about um, I don't know maybe six hours see how long it's going to take I just don't want any big blobs of color like that I want to kind of blend them out so yeah I'll come back to you and um, We'll drape it. I'm going to drape it over that same um, table leg that I've got. Hopefully you saw my other videos where I use that table leg. You'll know what I'm talking about. I will show it to you a bit later as well, but that's what I'm going to use. All right, I'll, I'll try to stop fiddling. I'll give it one more little torch for bubbles. And um, we'll leave it like that. All right, and I'll get myself cleaned up. And, um, did I say torch? Not a torch. Another little hit of alcohol. Make sure it's 100% alcohol. Don't use anything that's got, like, too much water in it because it won't like that. Your resin won't like that. All right. Oh, that's looking much better. My black's not exactly in the middle, is it? I can see from up here. I think it's, um, sloping. But, look, I don't mind... Um, I'm happy to have it really quite abstract. So I will see you in about six hours. Righto, guys. I think it's ready. Oh my gosh. It's, uh, it's 9 p.m. I finished this with all my fiddling and everything. I finished at 1.30. So, um, yeah, it's been seven and a half hours. I honestly didn't think it would take this long. So I checked it at five hours with the toothpick and it was still leaving a little sticky train. Um, six hours, if I touched it, it left a dent. Seven hours, I touched it and it left a fingerprint. Now I can touch it and it's not leaving a fingerprint. So I think it's ready. I went and took off all my cans. I've taken off all the tape. So the next thing is to take this instant mold away and it worked perfectly. It didn't leak, it was just beautiful. Worked like a charm. So there we go. There it is. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Drop it in there. Um, yeah, so that's all it is. Right, put you out of the way. Now, um, I am a little bit unsure about how to sort of pick this up and move it over there. Um, what I'll do is I will get you set up. I'm going to move the tripod around there um, and then I'll press record and I'll hopefully drape it over and see how we go. <laughs> it's hard when you're on your own. You've got to do all this by yourself. So yeah, um, the plastic will be obviously underneath and um, yeah, see how it goes. If I can get that little crease out, it's probably stayed in there now. Anyway, it won't matter. Right, um, I'm just going to go and move my light and things around, get reset up, and I will be right back. So this is the table leg that I bought from Bunnings, my local hardware store. Um, yeah, so 
they come in different heights and different thicknesses so I'm just going to drape it over that because it's a table leg on the other side which you can't see it's flat and that's the area that you would actually attach to the bottom of your table so it's actually got a nice base on it to hold it in place right I'm going to go and get my piece this is nerve-wracking it is it is <laughs> oh gosh it's huge this is the biggest one I've ever tried. Now, I don't know if you can see where the, the black is, but I want to just drop that there. Okay. Now comes the fun part. See, I can touch this now without leaving any fingerprints, so... You just have to make sure that if you're doing this that you wait long enough. When I did my black one the other day, my black and silver one, um, I didn't quite leave it long enough <laughs> and um, it started to drip a bit. So I'm going to make sure I've got some nice folds in here. You have to be careful that the folds don't touch each other, otherwise they will stick to each other and you're not going to be able to separate them. So now's the time to put your folds in where you want them. It's pretty easy to do if your resin is soft enough. If it's not soft enough, you'll really struggle. So, yeah, it's... I was actually surprised that it's taken this long. Um, I, because it's a really humid day today, it's not really hot, but it's a really humid day, so I've got the air conditioner on, um, and the temperature of the room's dropped to about 24 degrees in here. So it's probably because of that that it's taking a bit longer. Oh, okay, I'm not going to be careful here, they're sticking to each other. So it's longer at the back than it is the front. I'm going to have to work out. I'm going to have to put something in here to stop these from touching. No touching allowed, you guys. No touching. Look at the black top. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, let's just hope I can get it looking pretty. All right. Now, I don't mind if it folds like quite narrow onto itself. I don't mind that. That's why I've used the really thin plastic so that I can get it out. I just have to make sure that they're not going to touch each other. So, um, whoops, you're touching. Stop it. Stop touching. Not allowed. Um, I'm going to have to just put something in there. Otherwise, I'll have to keep coming and checking on it every 10 minutes or so. Because, I'll turn it around. Because the, um, oh gosh, it's quite heavy. Because the, the back is longer, it's wanting to sort of pinch down. And do like a pinch pleat. So, I think what I'll do is, I'll get some tape. And I'm just, because it's on this um, metal leg here it's really easy to tape pieces down onto the leg so I'm going to do that I'm going to grab my masking tape and I'm just going to tape a few pieces down Actually, I'll just climb up and make sure that you can still see okay there we go how's that so um, yeah I'm just going to put some tape onto the leg there. It's very handy this, uh, it's, it's great. Because you can, you know, pull the plastic down where you want it to go. I wasn't even looking for one of these when I went to the hardware store the other week. I'm not sure what I was looking for actually, but I certainly wasn't looking for these. But um, I walked past it, I think, oh that's right, I was looking for a piece of pipe. I thought I'd put it, uh, a piece of pipe down. Um, and I walked past this and I thought, oh, that would be 
perfect. Now these are sort of folding in on themselves a little bit. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to find something just to pop under here so they don't like close up on themselves. I'll be right back. Hang on. So what I'm going to do is I've just got some pieces of paper towel and I'm rolling them up and I'm going to just pop it in here like that and then I'm going to put a little bit of tape see how it's falling down I'm just going to put a little bit of tape just on the um, I'll just sort of fold the plastic under like that and put a bit of tape there onto that plastic I'm not touching the resin I don't want to touch the resin with any tape I've got some more just going to fold them up and just make sure nobody's touching again. Just like so, fold it under. Bit of tape. Just to keep the ends open, like so. So the tapes, the, the plastic's handy because you can tape that. I mean, you could, if you wanted to, put, um, say, a little paper cup in there. Like that. If you wanted that to open a little bit more. I'll just get a bit of tape on that. I'd hate it for it to fall. So I'm just going to put the, I need another hand, <laughs> put that under there, I'm going to put the tape underneath it and then I'm going to basically put my masking tape onto that plastic there, so that just stays there, alright, turn it around, so yeah this is basically just what I'm going to do, so that's touching there again, so I need to open this one up. It's a little bit trickier with, um, you know, the bigger pieces because they do want to drape quite nicely, which is fine. Don't touch. I saw you. Hands off. All right. So I'm going to just need to concentrate on this a little bit. That one can go there. Plastic underneath. Tape it. Okay. And this one. Let's see if I can do another. There's a fold there. So this one needs to have something in there. So you've got to act pretty quickly. You've got to get you've got to get going. Otherwise, you know, it's, it collapses in on itself. So don't leave it too long. Plastic underneath, tape it, there we go, it's looking good so far, yay, you guys stop touching, alright, I mean I know I do want it very long and, and narrow, not, I don't want it sticking out very far, but I do need to make sure that these folds aren't touching each other, so I'm going to continue with this, because it's going to take me a little while. Um, and then I'll come back to you shortly. Okay, I am done. <laughs> so, because I wanted it to drape nice and tightly um, and be quite long and tall, and I didn't want it to flare out. So, I'm okay with them touching a little bit. See there? It's going to touch there. Mm, probably touch down here and in there so I'm okay with this like I don't want to do the same sort of bowl each time you know that's wide at the top and nothing touches so I decided to just it wanted to touch 
I don't know if it will there or not. I mean, I could go and put some plastic between between each one, but I'm think I'm just going to let it do its thing. Okay, I'm just going to let it do what it wants to do for this one um, because yeah, I haven't done one like this before, so you can see it's quite high at the back. Well, that'll be the front, I guess. So quite high here. And then it drapes. So hopefully that will look really interesting, really pretty. And still have that dark section just in the middle. Hopefully. <laughs> it's my dishwasher in the back. Yes, you're in my kitchen. <laughs> uh, so there you go. All right. Um, we'll just have to wait and see what it does overnight. Um, and you know because of all the the creases and the lines and things if you know if you do have any creases in your plastic it doesn't matter like look at all this see this I think it just adds to it it's it's really beautiful and hopefully it'll look like um, glass when I demold it so um, yeah I don't think it'll be tomorrow because it's it's, it's taken this long to set so it's probably gonna be a good 24 hours again but I will come back to you um, when it's time to pull the tape off and take all the little cups out. So yeah, see you then. Hey guys, I'm back. It's the next day, it's the next evening. So it's been over 24 hours since I poured this baby. Right, let's see if I can get this out, eh? I'll take this out first, if I can. <laughs> oh gosh, this is where I, oh, there we go. This is where I need another pair of hands. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, so I'll put that aside for another day. And this is what we've got. Doesn't it look attractive? Okay, so here we go. I'll take all this off. Fast forward if you don't want to watch me do this, <laughs> but you know, I know you guys like to watch from go to woe, so I'll try and be quick. I'll keep my little cups, I'll use them again, take the tape off. I won't use this plastic bag again though, so I'm happy to get rid of it. I've got lots and lots of little plastic bags. I'll keep these though because these are always handy so I'll hang on to those. So some just had this, some had the paper cups. That paper cup I just squished a little bit so <laughs> I don't think I'll keep that one. And then all this, I just put little bits in there as well just to stop it sort of collapsing in on itself. Now the tricky thing is can you get the plastic out but I think because um, I used a really thin plastic bag I, I think it'll be okay I don't think it'll be a problem it should be easy enough to to take out with any luck oh, there's another little bit stuck in there <laughs> oh, I'm really looking forward to this seeing what it looks like super keen really hope it looks like stained glass hey it's looking good so far happy with the so far all right here we go look last two last two little pieces there's that one da -da 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 -da. last bit i don't really need to, to worry about that do i okay there we go okay look at that oh it's looking so pretty so far okay now <laughs> Oh, hang on, there's another bit of something in there. Something stuck in there. Let's get that out. Oh, gosh, how am I going to get that out now? Oh, I'm pushing it further back. Oh, hang on, I got it. Did I get it? Got it. Oh, phew. Got it. Oh, there goes my board. Did I get it? I'll bring you down a little bit. Come on, out you come. Yay! Oh my 
gosh. All right, that's that done. Now, the fun bit. Let's get this plastic out, hey? Oh, look at that. Here was I worrying for nothing, hey? Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, my God, look at it. It came out so easily. I was freaking out for nothing. Oh, look, there's another bit. There's another bit of paper. <laughs> I didn't realise I stuck little bits of paper in all these little areas. Oh, my gosh. Look at it, you guys. Oh, wow. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Now, I'll, I'll stand it up in a minute. I'll just, I'll just have a look at it. It's going to be difficult for me to show you standing up, but I will try. Let's have a look at the outside first. Look at that, look at that bit there. Oh, it's the pale aqua there. And it, didn't it look pretty bad? Let's stand it up. I mean, it did look pretty bad, you've got to admit. Um, when it was on that, um, just on its plastic, lying down, <laughs> didn't it? It did look pretty bad. Oops, I can't really, hang on, I'll see if I can zoom you out a little bit more. Right, there's the top. It's my, my backing card, it sort of just finishes there and then on the other side. So it's just on my kitchen bench that's so hiding my you know, my kitchen. <laughs> so there we go. Let's have a look at that. I'll take you off the tripod actually, otherwise it's going to go. Ee, 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 ee. I can do it this way and then I can actually, you know, zoom in and have a look at some things. Oh, it's so pretty. You can see the darker blue and then we've got the sort of teal there on the edges. Look at that. Now you can see what I was going for, how it's lower here and then higher and then the highest there. And we've got these beautiful sort of folds that come down here. Let's go around here. Look at that. This bit's quite stuck to the side here, but that's okay. Like I didn't, as I said to you before, I, I didn't mind about stuck bits with this particular piece. There's the back. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. I love it. And there's, I'll show you from the, the bottom. See, it gets darker and then it gets lighter and lighter. Um, it is quite dark at the moment. I've got the lights on in my kitchen. So you might not be able to see the teal. And also teal, it doesn't show up very well on my camera. It always shows up as blue, but this is teal. And then it gets higher again. And see that bit there? That's the teal again. So it's just beautifully blended. I, I wish you could see the colours as I see them. It's going to, oh gosh, tripped over <laughs> the spotlight. Look inside. There's the inside. really happy with it. I'm going to go and put it on my little turntable. I'll be right back. So this is just on my little round turntable thingy. It's battery operated. But it's, it's nice because it gives you a nice view of the piece. Now, I don't know if you'd use it as a vase. I mean, you, you certainly could. It, it's no reason why it can't hold water. Um, or whether you would just have it as a sculpture. Or maybe you'd put some artificial flowers in it. Oh, I'm so happy with it. You guys let me know what you think, whether you like it. And um, hopefully we'll be able to see the, the different colours in it. I should have maybe a light behind it. See if I can change the lighting. I don't know if that's made any difference or not. I've just put my ring light next to it rather than in front of it. <laughs> you 
you're probably sick of looking at it now, aren't you? I can't stop looking at it. I'm just so happy over the moon with how it's turned out. And it was really easy too. So there you go. Hope you've enjoyed my video. Let me know what you think. <laughs>